not fit and live. They go hand in hand, you can't have one without the other. The narcissist will use lies to control and to manipulate. And we're going to have a look in this video about some of the dynamics that are in play when the narcissist lies. So do keep tuned. Welcome back and to those of you who are new subscribers, thank you so much for recently subscribing, I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, welcome, thank you for being here and do give me a quick subscribe on your way out, I really do appreciate it. I want to talk about narcissists and lies. It's infuriating when you're on the receiving end of a lie anyway, by anyone because it, it makes us feel disrespected, it makes us feel as though they think we're stupid, that we can't see that they're lying to us, and then we get caught up in this accus accusatory triangle where we accuse them, then they accuse us, and then we just go round and round and round because they won't admit that they've lied, so they then project it onto us, so then you're having to defend yourself, and you just, it, it never ends. And so sometimes we let the lies go, because actually it's a lot more hassle. But unfortunately, in letting those lies go, we are in basically in um, giving them the reinforcement that it's okay for them to lie. It's okay, there's no consequences, because we don't even have a conversation. That's a really difficult balance. When you're in a relationship with someone who lies regularly and yet when you confront them about it, even when you confront them with cold hard facts that they are lying, they distort it and they project it onto you and you accuse it so you suddenly then have to defend yourself and it turns into a row about you and you being the problem. You're torn between, do I want to do this? Do I want to have this conversation? Do I want to have this argument? Or do I just let it go? But knowing that letting it go is essentially saying it's okay for you to lie. And this is what causes so much pain, heartbreak, anxiety, headaches, uh, stomach ache, and the post-traumatic stress disorder is because we don't know. Our natural response when we're being lied to is to confront and to to want to unveil that and to want to explain how it's made us feel and why why did they lie? Why did they feel the need to lie? But you can't have those conversations with an artist because they won't even acknowledge that a lie occurred. They will deny, deny, deny. And I wanted to look at the psychological aspect of that because even though it doesn't excuse their behaviour whatsoever, it does help you and us victims to actually understand a little bit better that it's not personal, that it's not, it's frustrating um, when they refuse to accept it, but it's part of their psychopathy. What the narcissist does is they're constantly, they're carrying around essentially this fragile egg of their ego and when you accuse them of lying, that that egg is at risk of being broken. And so they will do anything to protect it. And in doing so, they will twist the truth. And when I say twist, I don't just mean like we like we might tell a white lie and no, I didn't eat all that cake. That's a white lie when you've got cake all around your face. But what they will do is they will say, no, the sky is red. And they will so vehemently believe it because actually what happens in their brain is that they do, they switch, and so they do believe that. That becomes their truth, and you have to go along with that, and if you don't, you experience the rage or the silent treatment. And so the reason that they get so agitated with you for accusing them of lying, and they defend it so vehemently, is because to them, there is no lie. It is absolutely 100% the truth. And so you're caught in this cat and mouse game of you know it's not the truth, but they absolutely 100%
think it is the truth and you can't reveal that to them and if you do if you do keep trying you just get the rage and the anger and this is what creates all that frustration within you because they do believe it they're not just doing it to, i mean it does wind you up but they're not doing they're not doing it for that they're doing it to protect that fragile egg so why do they lie why do they do it in the first place well again it comes back to this fragile egg they can't control their own behaviours and their own impulses through brain development, the way they were brought up. They are going to do things that a loving partner wouldn't approve of. They know you wouldn't approve and they desperately want your approval. They need to keep you, un they need to keep you in the dark because they're worried that you will reject them. And so they, they lie because... They don't want you to know what they've done and they can't not do it because they lack the impulse, impulsive control, they lack that regulatory system, they don't have them, they haven't developed properly within their brain and so they have to do those behaviours but they know to lie about them to protect that fragile ego so that you won't then reject them but then when you confront them with the truth they then have to protect that fragile egg even more so they then distort the truth and it just becomes this route and the injury that then occurs to the narcissist that you've, ch ch uh, you've challenged them, you've questioned them, is enormous. They really do f take huge offence to you saying that they've lied when you know they've lied but they don't think that they've lied. And so they then get really angry at you and you end up apologising and we're back in that cycle of reinforcement for them that they were always in the right so they keep doing it. And so it's a very complex mix around lies. And I wanted to talk about that because I think we all feel the anger and feel the frustration and want to really understand why do they do this what's going on so i hope that this video has given you a bit of a better understanding of what is going on with the narcissist why they lie and why they deny they lie if you have found any of this um hit, has hit their nail on the head for you if you re if it has resonated with you um then i'd love to hear from you drop me a comment below or even just give us a thumbs up that would be great if you are struggling with the anger element of this, I have got a handout that um, I'm happy to share. Link is on the screen. Grab yourself a free copy of that. It will also be in the description below the video. Obviously, if you want to talk about anything on a private level, then you can email me at inquiries at the nurturingcoach.co.uk. Like I said, if you haven't already subscribed, please do give me a click. It really does help. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.